As expected, the Fed announced that they're hiking interest rates for the third time this year, but what caught the markets by surprise was the fact that they moved up their growth assessment. Joining me to explain is Robert from TD Securities. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. As I mentioned, the Fed hiked rates. Most of the markets saw that happening, but what was surprising was they hiked their, their growth assessment by uh, to 2.5%. What's the story there? So as you mentioned, this was largely expected by the market, so there wasn't a huge reaction to today's decision. But the Fed did revise its 2018 growth forecast higher, which signals that they are incorporating some assumptions of tax policy changes, even though we have yet to uh, see that bill pass. Moving to the data, uh, there was lots of talk about employment and inflation. What was most interesting to you there? Um, well, I think it's notable that the Fed didn't use any more cautious language on inflation. Um, they still noted that it is below target, but the fact that they didn't um, change their language significantly uh, means they are not any more uh, dovish on that front. On employment, you know, the job market um, has been very strong over the last few months and they marked down their unemployment rate forecasts. But they left the uh, long-term unemployment rate forecast the same. So they kind of expect the labor market to run hot for a couple of years. When we saw the, uh, the announcement come across, you said the most interesting thing was the dot plot. What can you tell us about that? Well, the Fed still expects to hike three times next year, um, which was the same number of hikes that they had uh, foreshadowed in September. So there were some that were expecting that dot plot to move to four hikes. Um, we don't see the Fed going a uh, full three times our forecast is for two hikes in uh, June and December, though the risks are tilted towards three. But we also expect uh, tax policy changes to be more of a 2019 growth story than 2018 if they are passed. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.